Hey there, mathematicians. Welcome to class today. I'm Miss Barnes, and the lesson that follows is for scholars in kindergarten and pre-K. Good morning, friends. I hope you've had a great week. This week, we are finishing our teen number study, and we're finishing that by studying the numbers 19 and a very special number, 20. Okay. So today, as we get started, you're going to need your counters again. You're going to need a space to work, like I have, and you're gonna need your 10 frames. So either find or draw those now, grab your counters, and let's get ready to learn. Are you ready today, friends? We're finishing our team number study, and that is so exciting. Next week, we're going to explore ways to make numbers, and soon we get to talk about shapes. I hope you are ready for this journey. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to take my counters at the top of my board. We're going to organize them into rows and then we're going to count them. So remember we use our pointer finger to touch each counter as we move it. That way we make sure we count each and every tool that we have. So I'm moving mine down a little and just spacing them out so I know I have room to touch each one. Now we're going to count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And 19. Now I'm going to move these a little bit just so they're in rows and columns. And then we're going to count them again while I write the number. Are you ready to practice one more time? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, new row, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Who can tell me the pattern? How do you write 19? That's right, friends, you write 19 with a one and a nine. So let's talk about how to write the numeral and the number name. First, we know that 19 has two digits in it. And we can tell from the pattern that 19 has one 10, so that means the first digit is a one, and it has nine ones. That means the second digit is a nine. So this is how you write the number 19. We're gonna do that again, are you ready? So a one we're really good at. A one starts at the top and goes down to the bottom. A nine has a small circle on top and then a line going down, 19. Now, if you tuned in last week, you learned that 17 and 18 look just like the numbers seven and eight with the word teen at the end. 19 is the same. So 19 is written by writing nine in I, N, E, and then the word teen. T, E, E, N. And that's the word 19. Now the last thing we have to talk about today is modeling in our 10 frames. So I'm going to reorganize my counters down here below and I'd like for you to do the same. When you're done, we'll talk about the groups of tens and ones. Here we are, friends, ready to talk about the groups of tens and ones that we have in front of us. So, this top 10 frame is full. That means we don't have to count it. How many counters live in this top 10 frame? If you said 10 ones, great job. 
If you said 110, also great job. If you said both, give yourself a high five. This top 10 frame models 10 ones or 110. Now let's talk about this bottom 10 frame. I don't need to count what's here because I know there's one missing. So if I have a full 10 frame, I have 10. If I take one away or if one is missing, how many do you think I have? Hmm. Well, let's practice with the top 10 frame. So this is 10. I take one away. 10 take away one is how many? Nine. Great job. So that means in this bottom 10 frame, how many do I have? 10 take away one is nine. So this bottom 10 frame models nine ones. Great job using your problem solving skills, mathematicians. So now we know that 19 is composed of 10 ones and 9 ones, or 1 10 and 9 ones. Great job on that. We have to erase and reorganize because next we get to talk about a special number, 20. Here we are, friends, ready to talk about the number 20. The first thing we have to do is notice what I've done here at the top. I've added a counter. So we're going to practice counting from 1 to 20 together. I'm going to use my index finger so that we can track which counters we're counting, and I'd like you to count along with me. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, halfway there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, great job. All right, so we're gonna wait to write 20 today. And I'm actually going to do this a little bit backwards. We're going to move the counters down here into the 10 frames, and then we'll talk about writing the number, okay? So I'm gonna reorganize my counters now. You go ahead and reorganize yours also, and we'll meet back here to work on 20. Okay, friends, we've reorganized our materials and now it's time to work on the model. So down here we have a very special case that we haven't dealt with yet. And we have two full 10 frames. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about what we know. Then we'll talk about how to write it. So this top 10 frame we know models 10 ones or 110. So that means the bottom 10 frame also models 10 ones and 110. So we know that 20 is 20 ones or two tens. Let's think about how to write that. So remember when we talk about two digit numbers, the first digit talks about how many tens and the second digit talks about how many ones. Okay, so we're going to work with the tens in this case. How many tens do we have in the number 20? Well, we have two tens. And if we have two tens and we don't have any leftovers like we did with 19 or 18, then we write a two in the first digit. So we have two tens here. And we do not have any leftover ones. So that means we have a zero here. Now you're probably thinking, but Miss Barnes, there are ones on your board. What about those? So remember that when we write ones, we write them in this, in this second digit. So if we have 20 ones, that's the same as two tens and zero ones. I hope you've enjoyed our teen number study friends where we practiced counting, writing, and modeling the numbers from 11 to 20. Join us next week as we explore some different concepts. Get ready for science with Ms. Schumacher and I'll see you then.